Welcome to the Mention Home. I'm Sawan. This is my song log where I write and sing my original songs about the yummiest of my adventures. Well, Bengali auntie has been feeling a little neglected of late. So here she is, back in my kitchen, serving up the authentic Kolkata version of one of the most popular Indian dishes in the world. I want the Kolkata Matun Biryani 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 Mashla ready made or make it yourself Try roast and grind these items from your kitchen shelf Fry pot to boil the egg and sliced onion Line up the marinade items one by one Ginger, garlic, fried onion, rose and kira water Biryani, mashla, coriander, cumin, chili powder Turmeric, salt and oil, add to cut and then bit Marinate overnight, chunks of good boneless meat But chewing on a bone makes me feel like a dog. Everybody loves a biryani. Of ghee and oil, add the mutton and star. Pressurize with the potato, some salt and water. Whole garum, mashla, fennel, bay leaf, and oil. Add the soaked rice and salt when the water comes to boil. Cook the rice till it is nearly done. In some milk, add food color and saffron. In a pot I will now do my layers And then set it to slow cook, say your prayers Rice, mashla, salt is layer number one Then mutton, potato, prunes and the fried onion Dash of mashla, mutton, gravy, drop of mitator Sprinkle a bit of rose and kira water Rice again, mashla, salt, melted butter with ghee Milk with saffron and eggs to complete the assembly Tightly seal cooking in direct heat Open 30 minutes later, what a fit! You know, I had never cooked a biryani before I started working on this vlog. And oh boy, the process was so complicated. There were times when I felt like I was Heisenberg doing a cook in my RV. Well, jokes apart, there were ingredients in there that I or my local storekeeper had never even heard of. Typically like kebab chini or mita atar. I mean, the store guy told me that Madam, you can perfume your shop in the shop, you can get there maybe. So the first trial round of biryani that I cooked was without any of those exotic ingredients. And you know what? It tasted pretty damn decent to me. I mean, how wrong can you go with potatoes and meat and rice if it's well cooked, right? And well, eventually I did manage to procure all those fancy ingredients for the shoot. And those of my friends who tasted the outcome were pretty seriously impressed by it. So I guess there is something to be said about an authentic Mughlai recipe. Hmm? So, well, those of you who are brave enough and adventurous enough to try this out, do let me know how it goes in the comments section below. I always love hearing from you guys. 
and of course share the video rate the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel bon appetit i'll see you again soon